cut, pies. Huh? This is a Western movie and they're throwing pies? Hey, I'm just the stage manager. The director wanted pies, so we got pies. Who's directing this thing? I demand to speak with him this instant. Director's coming to the stage! <laughs> Who ever heard of a Western with pies? Besides, pies aren't for throwing. Hey. Oh, hi, Normal. Pies are for eating. Huh? Where's this director? Well, I'm here. Here I am making my first Western, and they probably got some kid out of film oh. school. Someone who has no experience. Well, actually, Garfield, I can't I'm work here. like this. Where is that director? We've set up the next shot. Anytime you're ready. <laughs> you, you're the director? Yes, sir. Huh? We quit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't you even want to hear my fresh new concept for this movie? Does it involve the star mailing his director to Abu Dhabi? I've been thinking. Westerns are kind of old-fashioned. That may be because they take place in the past, Nermal. <laughs> exactly. So I've decided to add in things that today's audiences want, like zombies. Where's my zombie? Huh? <laughs> zombie to the set, please. And ninja warriors. Where are my ninjas? Ninjas, please. <laughs> Oh, oh. Great. You, you wouldn't believe how many ninjas I had to audition to find these. Normal. And making a deal? Do you know how hard it is to negotiate with ninja warriors? Their agent is a samurai. But they're worth it. These guys are utterly fearless. Uh, uh, okay, so they're afraid of zombies. But hey, who isn't? Garfield, huh? if you and Odie will be in my movie, I won't annoy you for... 12 weeks. Eight weeks, including reruns. <laughs> well, Yay. we gotta go get into wardrobe. Uh, excuse me, do I have any actual dialogue in this film, or do I just go about... Um, uh, 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 like that? Hey, listen, kid, if you don't like it, the industry's full of unemployed zombies. Is my rat with a guitar here yet? Uh-huh. Tune up on Red Eye Rock. Okay, people, and those of you who aren't people, let's take it from the top. Legend of Glitter Gulch, scene one, take one. We have speed and action. Get yourself comfy as I tell a story about a city in total despair. It was a town with a pretty bad sheriff, utterly clueless to crime everywhere. Hey, you! Don't litter. Hell! The mustache mob just robbed the jewelry store! No chewing gum on the street. Huh? Hell! The mustache mob just robbed a sock across the yogurt shop! You have to listen to me. I'm the sheriff. I have a badge and everything. Boy, if I were the sheriff, I'd stop all this crime and lawlessness. So the town is gripped in a crime spree. Big, <gasps> fat, hairy deal. Doesn't bother me. Hey! The mustache mob! They just got up the pizzeria! All right, now they've gone too far. All through the city, the people were angry. Someone, they said, had to capture that mob. They told the mayor to get a new lawman. He told the old one to find a new job. <laughs> oh, please, Mr. Mayor, don't fire me. I love being sheriff. I love wearing my little sheriff. <laughs> oh, please, please, give me another chance. We gave you another chance. Then give me another, another chance. Oh, please, please, that's all. Do your order. duty, Mayor. The mustache mob has now robbed eight banks, three jewelry stores, and that place on the corner that sells soft frozen yogurt. Hmm. I don't believe they've robbed any of your businesses yet, Doc Whipple. They will. <laughs> I'm the richest man in town. It's just a matter of time. You guys have an entrance coming up. Hmm. It's about time. <laughs> Sorry, Sheriff Gourmand. You're fired. Ah, 
I know what I mean. <laughs> I've got just the men to replace him. A new sheriff and two deputies. Clyde! <laughs> this is Clyde. He and his men will make fine law enforcers. I'm sure they would, but I've already hired someone else. Arbuckle! <laughs> Howdy there, Mr. Mayor, sir. I sure am proud you picked me to be sheriff. I'll catch them good-for-nothing mustache mobsters. <laughs> I know what I mean. Let me introduce you to my deputies. Oh, deputies! <laughs> hey. Wow! Howdy, partners. You're appointing a cat and a dog as deputies? You should hire my men here. Calm down, Doc Whipple. I gave Arbuckle here the job. If he and his pets don't catch the mustache mob, well, then I'll give your guys a chance. We can practically guarantee they won't catch the mustache mob. Right, man? Oh, yeah, sure. right. Oh, I you. I'll show you around, Sheriff John. You're going to need the combination to the safe where we keep the files. We've got to get that new sheriff fired so you can replace him and I can get access to that safe. Why? What's in it? I'll tell you later. Right now, I want you to go out and make trouble. Oh, Cheers, really Doc. Don't worry we about are it. We're real good at that. <laughs> All right. Cue our lead enter. Ow. Hello, Garfield. Or should I say Deputy Garfield? Howdy, Miss Arlene. I brought you lunch. In fact, I made your favorite thing, food. You've always been right nice to me, Miss Arlene. Up the hillside, a stampede was starting more head of cattle than you ever seen. Stop him from reaching the village. Nothing except for obeying the law. Hey, by jingles, what's going on? What's that noise? Cards, or we have a stampede on our hands. Well, looky here, you're the sheriff, sheriff. Do something to stop them, well. Yeah. <laughs> stop them? Yeah. But how do I? Uh, stop? <laughs> sheriff John's about to get trampled. Not if I. the uh, line? Not if his faithful deputy is around. Not if his faithful deputy is around. <laughs> this is so awesome. <laughs> this is a left turn only lane. Decided we should go vegan. Yeah, I remember. Well, I've decided to forget about that. From now on, there will be meat in this house. <laughs> ah. Woo-hoo! <laughs> 
soon all the cattle had gone to the hillside, making wide turns at all hamburger stands. All the folks in the city were grateful, all but Doc Whipple, who scolded his hands. You incompetence! We've got to get that sheriff and deputy fired! <laughs> uh. All right, get a good close-up of Whipple when he delivers his next line. Just so you can get into some safe in the sheriff's office? What's in there that's so all fired important, Doc? A map! A map to a canyon where everything is gold. That map must be mine. That canyon must be mine. Perfect. All right. We're on break. Everybody take five. Directing a western movie. John's the sheriff, and Garfield and Odie are his deputies. But maybe not for long. The evil Doc Whipple's out to get them fired and install his men in their place. It's all part of his plot to get his hands on some gold. And not just some gold, but a whole canyon of the stuff. I can't wait to see how he's gonna do that. to be in the movies. How do you think the picture's going, Squeak? Uh, I don't know. It kinda needs something. Yeah, you're right. It needs something exciting, and today, something loud. <laughs> Not that loud. Learning my lines. I I could do it with an accent if you like. Uh, That's great, kid. Let's do the next scene. The laces, everybody. Where's my Bernie? I don't work for that. She's supposed to go stand on my. Hey, can you believe it? Mrs. Cauldron got an Emmy Award, but not me. Oh, you really deserve one, Garfield. People, people, we need you on the set. We explain about Glitter Gulch, please? You're the director. All right, quiet on the set. This is scene 24, Doc Whipple's office. Action! Go out and start a campaign to fire the sheriff. I have to get that map so I can get all the gold in Glitter Gulch. Glitter Gulch? Ooh. So just what is Glitter Gulch? People like to tell the story of a canyon someone found. As they tell it, there was gold there on the ground and all around. Only one man found the canyon and he didn't plan to share. He would grab up every nugget everywhere with more to spare. Something made him run in terror. Something made his blood run cold. So he came back empty handed, never told about the gold. Only told the current sheriff, and he gave his map away. And the sheriff locked that map up till this day, or so they say. Till this day, or so they say. The combination is 25, 13, 25. I can remember that. Uh, what do we keep in the safe? Records and files, mostly. Unimportant things except for this map. It's a map to Glitter Gulch. Glitter Gulch? The place with all the gold lying around? I didn't think that really existed. Maybe it does and maybe it doesn't. But the mayor before me said this map must never fall into the hands of anyone who tried to go there. 
And he said that because the mayor before him said that. And the mayor before him, and the mayor I get before it. him. It sounds like that map is trouble. Someday there might be a use for it. But right oh. now, don't let any greedy sidewinder get it. <sighs> hmm? Keep an eye on the office, deputies. I'm going out to search for the members of the mustache mob. I have a detailed description of them right here. Um, they have mustaches. I never would have guessed. Hey, everybody. We need a new sheriff. Two new deputies. Huh? Hmm. Nope. No mustache. <laughs> yeah, folks, we really need a new sheriff. That sheriff has been there too long. He's only been sheriff for 20 minutes. Oh, that sheriff doesn't have enough experience on the job. Why, the sheriff's doing nothing. That ornery mustache mob done robbed the first national bank. They robbed the second national bank. They robbed the third national bank. Wait a minute. They haven't robbed the third national bank. Oh, wait. That's tomorrow. Hmm, they're good. But I better hire a couple more bodies to help me out. <sighs> we left in such a hurry. I didn't have time to enjoy the lunch you brought me. Oh, I hope you do. And you can have some, too, Deputy Odie. Oh, what have we got? I hope it's something that starts with L and ends in Ya and has a son in the middle. Nope. No <gasps> lasagna. <laughs> but I brought lots of wonderful things instead. Tofu, spinach salad with yogurt dressing, veggie burgers with imitation cheese substitute, alfalfa sprouts, rice cakes, and for dessert, more rice cakes. <laughs> I thought you said you were bringing food. This is food. Good, healthy food. And after we're married... Married? This is the kind of meal I'll cook for you... This? Three times a day. Three? If that's lunch, I'm glad I'm not sheriff anymore. Please, trying to direct... much of a part of this film. Tell me about it. At least you didn't get fired in scene three. I should have become a zombie. They work all the time. If you eat like that, you'll lose this. Huh? And you'll weigh a lot less. Yes, but then there'd be less of me to love. Okay, I'm going. You will eat that lunch, right? Of course. <laughs> I'll be back this evening with dinner. An imitation prime rib made completely out of soybean curd. I can't wait. <gasps> hey, be careful. Some of that's getting into your mouth. Come on, we're gonna go eat some real food. Here in this town, it was hardly a secret where you could get the best food anywhere. For a good pizza and good and things now and then could get rowdy at Vito's. Sometimes a fight would erupt in a bang. He made a rule when you walk through the doors there, you have to check all your lemon meringue. Hey! That last slice is mine. It is not, it's mine. There was eight slices and you've had your four. There's nothing lower than a guy who steals another slice of pepperoni pizza with extra cheese. Oh yeah, go for it. <gasps> stop, stop, there will be none of this in Vito's place of business. Out, out. <gasps> and never darken my swinging doors again. <sighs> I hope that's not how they always serve dessert here. Uh, uh. Greetings! Welcome to Vito's. Do you have any pies on you? If I did, I'd have eaten them by now. <laughs> that deputy has a reputation for loving Italian food. I knew he'd be here soon. You know what to do, and in case you don't, I've hired someone else. He'll be along any second now. Leave it to me, Doc. I'll take care of him right after I perform. Ah. Uh. Well, we ain't having much luck blacking in the name of the sheriff and his deputies. Keep at it. We must get them fired. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Nope, no mustache here. Oh, I'll have an order of everything with everything on it. Oh, and uh, a side of everything. And the same for him. I will prepare your meal right after I introduce the entertainment. People, people, welcome to Vito's. I am proud to introduce our star attraction, the song stylings of a Miss a Kitty Litter. Yeah. 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 Hey, if you're feeling all fatigued, let us get you all intrigued. You won't feel down and drained once you have been entertained. All we ask is for a chance. Let us sing and let us dance. We'll pick a seat in any row. Sit right down and watch the show. I believe you just did. I'm Deputy Garfield, and this is Deputy Odie. Oh, I know who you both are. I hope you like what I do. <laughs> you sure sing pretty, Miss Kitty Litter. Say, is our food ready? <laughs> That's Big Bad Bruno, the meanest cat for miles around. You watch yourself, deputy. Oh. Welcome to Vito, Signor. We request that if you have any pies on you, that you leave them here at the door, uh, uh, please. Tell you're the fastest eater in the West. Well, you know how people exaggerate say silly things and I'm faster. I beg your pardon? I'm faster, and I'm here to prove it. I'm challenging you to a showdown. Lasagna at ten paces. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. You're on, Bruno. Get ready to put your lunch where your mouth is. deputy of this town, but the thoroughly rotten Doc Whipple's out to get him and Sheriff John fired. Whipple hired the lovely Miss Kitty Litter to help him reach his goal, and now another Whipple employee, Big Bad Bruno, has challenged Garfield to a contest to see which of them's the fastest eater in the West. Please, folks, no wagering. Don't call us, we'll call you. Oh, for sake. Phone call for 
for you, Mr. Director. I don't have time for a phone call now. We're about to film the big eating contest. It's the head of the studio. <laughs> yeah, hi, boss. <gasps> oh, it's going great down here on the set. This is going to be the best movie you ever... Oh, you have? Oh, you don't. Oh. Uh, you're right. It needs something. I'll work on it. Bye. They don't like what they've seen so far? They think it needs something, and they're right. Zombies? I'm still trying to find a place to use my zombie and my ninjas. I paid a lot of money for those ninjas. All right, people, and whatever else you are, this is scene 33. Garfield and Big Bad Bruno's eating showdown. Lights, camera, pasta! Very well. This is a contest to determine who's the fastest eater in all of the West. Oh, we all know who's gonna win. It's gonna be Deputy Garfield. Rufus, Rufus, quiet. And now, remember the rules. The loser has to move back east and leave on nothing but raisins for the rest of his life. On your mark. Get set. Eat. For the next hour, lasagna was eaten. Two men competing for honor bestowed. One of them would be the West's fastest eater. That was, of course, if he didn't explode. I could take either one of them with half my mouth tied behind my back. Looks like Bruno's starting to weaken. The winner, and still fastest eater in the West, <laughs> Deputy Garfield! <laughs> Garfield, you won! You ate 627 lasagnas. Is there anything you want to say? Yeah. Hey, Bruno, are you going to finish that? <laughs> Get my hands on you! Yeah. How about if we have a nice, peaceful discussion? <laughs> now look what you've done. Seven years bad luck. <laughs> please, please, my poor pizzeria. What? Hey, where are you? No, oh, turn off the lights. my appreciation for all that you fine lawmen do. It's in my dressing room. Come on back in a few minutes. <laughs> huh? Excuse me. Could I tell you why we need to get rid of Sheriff John and his deputies? Get rid of them? 
Why, that Deputy Garfield's the greatest hero I ever seen. Giving that fella a raise, oh. I see. Having any luck? None. The town loves Deputy Garfield. Well, then we'll have to find some other way to get rid of them. Zeke, Luke, you sure all this is worth it? Why, sure it is. Doc Whipple, he'll pay us real good once he finds his way to Glitter Gulch. Glitter Gulch? Someone's fixing to find the way to Glitter Gulch? Ha! You see those three clowns what just went by? <laughs> they think they're gonna find Glitter Gulch. Glitter Gulch? The canyon where there's gold lying all around? <laughs> That's just a myth. No, it ain't. Glitter Gulch is a real place. And I ought to know on account of I'm the guy who found it. 57 years ago, I did. And <laughs> if they ever do find it, boy, are they in for a shock. All them lizards. Lizards? There's nothing in my copy of the script about lizards. The actors are ad-libbing again. They keep not following my script. Hey, 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 I've been up to 4.30 in the morning writing this. Read the lines. What's the next scene? Garfield goes to the dressing room of Miss Kitty Litter. Oh, and then comes the big runaway stagecoach scene. That's good. We're still missing something. <laughs> uh, honey, you're wasting your time cozying up to Deputy Garfield. He's sweet on Miss Arlene, that school teacher. Well, he can't like everything about her. Oh, well, I hear he's not wild about her cooking. She cooks healthy, and oh, you saw out there how he eats. Good luck with him. Miss Kitty Litter, you asked me to come back here? Yes. All this mess. This is what I get for being in a spaghetti western. Excuse me, some people outside told me Deputy Garfield was here. I have his post-lunch midday snack for him. It's a health food sandwich with all sorts of vegetables pretending to be meat. If you're looking for the deputy, I think he's back in the dressing room. Thank you. Uh, you said you had a gift for me? Yes. You've inspired me so much with your great heroism that I wrote a song for you. A song? Oh, I was hoping for food. Then you will love my song. Since my eyes first found you oh. A moment I will not forget I wanted to spend my time around you And be a very special player But you have given me a clue And to win your heart over I know just what to do Oh, I'll cook you marinara I'll cook you both from here to the Sahara, no one's better at these. I'll make you fettuccine, I'll make you pizza pie. I'll be your magic genie if you'll be my guy. Now, can we talk about a little old safe in the sheriff's office? There's something in there I'd like to... Is Deputy Garfield in here? I have his... <gasps> Sorry to intrude. Arlene, wait! It's not what you think. Oh, let her go. She has healthy food for you. I have cannelloni. Tell Deputy Garfield I huh? never want to see him again. No. Oh. Oh. I'm going to get on the stagecoach and move to another sleepy little western town. Oh. <laughs> oh. No mustache. That mustache mob must be miles away from here by now. Miss Erlene! Miss Erlene! Wait! 
Huh? The stagecoach? To move to another town? I've got to get on that stagecoach. <laughs> Deputy Garfield just went to get on the stagecoach. Hmm, the stagecoach? Why, that'd be a perfect way to get rid of him. I know a shortcut to get there before he does. Men, mustaches on. <laughs> <laughs> Hop on board, little lady. Looks like he'll be my only passenger. And we'll be leaving in about a minute. Thank you. Now, we just sabotage the stagecoach and no more Deputy Garfield. How do you sabotage a stagecoach? I know. I used to work on one. These here horses are trained to go wildly out of control if it, you make this sound. <laughs> hey, wait. I'm supposed to be driving that rig. Now, see what you've gone and done, you idiot. Yeah, the deputy ain't even aboard yet. Well, sorry. Awesome! <laughs> I wrote this. We're too late. The stagecoach is left. Cut! What an exciting moment! Let's cut here and take five. Now? still directing his western movie and things are getting dangerous in these parts. Miss Arlene is trapped in a stagecoach. The stage has been sabotaged by men working for the baddest of bad guys, Doc Whipple. How will our heroes get out of this alive? How should I know? I'm only the narrator. Yes, I know you've been on the Garfield show a few times, but we're doing a Western here. There's no place in it for sloth people. Yeah. Wait! This movie does need something. Maybe it needs sloth people. It might work. Okay, I'll find a place for you. And I'll get you guys into the movie. Yeah. 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 I'm me, I'm me, 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 me. Yes, you, 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 you. Garfield, get ready for the big runaway stagecoach scene. Well, now that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I'm the star of this movie. Why, why am I doing my own stunts? Because, baby, we want realism. Because we want authenticity. And because I spent so much money on ninjas, I can't afford stunt cats. Well, how about instead of me risking my life, we do it in CGI? Do you know how phony CGI always looks? Yeah, you're right. Okay. All right, quiet on the set. <laughs> that means you too, ninjas. Okay, remember, you're about to be run over by a runaway stagecoach. Normal, what's my motivation in this scene? Your motivation is to not be run over by a runaway stagecoach. Got it. <laughs> Perfect. All right, action. <laughs> Quick, Odie. We'll head her off by taking a shortcut. Garfield! Of course there's a shortcut. This is a Western movie, isn't it? There's a shortcut to everything. Fortunately, I always carry a map of shortcuts. We have to turn on Buttram Boulevard. I need to ask someone where it is. Excuse me, do you know where Buttram Boulevard is? <laughs> Thanks! 
Hi, Arlene. Going on a trip? <laughs> that sounds like fun. Garfield, save me! <laughs> hey, guys, look. <laughs> Do you see the stagecoach? <laughs> wow! All right, Odie. I'm the hero of this movie. That means I have to do at least one really, really stupid thing. And this is it. I wrote this. Here goes. <laughs> yes. So, uh, what do I do now? Why don't you try unhooking the horses? I would have thought of that. Eventually. <laughs> okay, unhooking the horses. Ah! Good job, boy. What is going to happen to that stagecoach? I'm just glad I'm not pulling it. Woo Garfield, how do we stop this thing? No problem, Miss Arlene. With the horses disconnected, it'll just come to a sort of a natural stop all its own. Unless, of course, we come to a very steep downhill section of road. Our heroes are truly in trouble indeed. They're trapped in a wagon that's picking up speed. Whatever they do, it continues to roll. The stagecoach is utterly out of control. The odds are not good that the two will survive, especially since there is no one to drive. It looks like they're gonna wind up in a hole. The stagecoach is totally out of control. Destruction is looming wherever they turn. So there is a lesson you all ought to learn. If living a long life's a principal goal, don't ride the coach that is out of control. Great, we're doomed and some rat is singing songs about it. Garfield, up ahead! What did that <laughs> sign say? Ah! I'm afraid it said, bridge out! Oh. Arlene, I want you to know that that other woman meant nothing to me. Although she did say she'd make me cannelloni. supposed to end like this, I think. Well, where's my script? Mustache mob, scene in Fido's, ninjas. Ah, here it is. We see the stagecoach crash into the canyon and splinter into a million pieces. Oh, no. Angle on a tree near the edge of the cliff. We see Garfield and Arlene clinging to an overhanging branch crab and grab them just in time. Oh. Thank you, Garfield. I'd do anything for you, Miss Arlene. Would you eat health food? <laughs> I said, would you eat health food? I'm thinking it over. <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry, Doc. We tried to get rid of that deputy, but someone messed up. It doesn't matter. I can use that incident with the stagecoach to get the sheriff fired. Just watch me. Good to see you too, boy. Anything happen in town while we were away? What's he saying? There's some sort of protest rally in the town square. And so I say to you, good people of this town, when a runaway stagecoach threatened our citizens, 
did Sheriff John Arbuckle come to our aid? Well, uh, no, I know. No. And has he succeeded in capturing the nefarious mustache mob? No, no, no. I don't think so. He didn't. And he's had plenty of time, too. He's been sheriff since, let's see, just before noon. The mustache mob is a menace to our town. And if Sheriff John can't catch them, we need a new sheriff. And get rid of his deputies while we're at it. People! I know I'm new on the job, but have you caught the mustache mob yet? Well, no, but if you'll just let me... Did you stop the runaway stagecoach? Well, no, I didn't, but my deputy happened to be... Have you done anything about the rising prices of candy bars? What? He's right. Candy bars keep costing more and more. The price of hats is going up, too. My pizzeria was half destroyed by a brawl. Uh, can I be the new sheriff? If you'll just let me finish. Uh, I'm new on the job. I'm doing my best. Woody, I think you and I just got out of the deputy business. Arbuckle, but the townspeople are demanding it. <sighs> I understand, Mayor. Here's my badge, Garfield's badge, and Odie's badge. If the rest of you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a while. <coughs> Here's your badge, Sheriff Clyde. Here's your deputy, Zeke. And your deputy, Luke. I leave the sheriff's office in your hands. Uh, excuse me, Mayor, but wasn't there something else you were supposed to do? Something about the contents of a safe? <laughs> oh, oh, this is so sad. You think this is sad? Wait till you hear John's big solo coming up. Sleeping out on the plains Sing song refrains life out here is well met still I have this one regret I always wanted a star on my chest wanted to uphold the Combination is 25, 13, 25. That's right. <laughs> Just remember that and remember not to give that map to anyone. Oh, we'd never let anyone have the map to Glitter Gulch, would we, guys? No, 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 no not a chance. That happen, no. no way. All right. Good night, guys. Good, Good night, night, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> We've got it. We've got the map to the city of gold. I've got the map to the city of gold. We leave first thing in the morning, and by nightfall, I'm fixing to be the richest man in the world. And cut! Great job, guys. We'll break for lunch. Lunch? Oh, first good idea you've had today. Uh, you gonna get something? Not right now. I have an idea. A brilliant hey, idea. Hey. An idea so great, I don't know why it didn't occur to me 67 pages ago. I know what this movie needs. The thing that every movie needs. The thing that is guaranteed to make this movie the biggest hit ever. Really? What does it need? It needs me.
So John's been fired as sheriff, which means that deputies Garfield and Odie have been fired too. Doc Whipple, you can boo him later, has the map to Glitter Gulch, an entire canyon of gold, they say. Can anyone stop this snake from becoming the richest man in the world? If someone's going to, they'd better soon, because this is the last chapter. Yes. If you'd just let me talk to him about being in the movie... I'm sorry. He's on the phone to the head of the studio. Not to worry, sir. I've just made an addition to the cast. The biggest, most wonderful star in the world. Can you guess who it is? Nope, not him. Nope, not him either. One more guess. Wrong again. It's me. Oh. Oh. I can wait. Laugh all you want. Doesn't bother me. Here. Hang this up when he stops laughing. It gets replaced. Whichever curse first. I'll slate the scene. Scene, whatever number this is, take one. Okay. I've got to get into costume. Come the next morning, Doc Whipple was ready. They had the map now to give them directions. This was the day they would go for the gold. Why do we need the extra wagon? Because we're going to bring back a lot of gold. <laughs> what are those men up to? I'm going out to look for a job, guys. We'll see if there are openings for a guy who was sheriff for half of yesterday. Tuck Whipple is up to something, and it reminds me of John's cooking. It really smells. Oh. Huh? <gasps> you! May I come in? Why aren't you with Doc Whipple? That's right. I figured out you were working for him. Not anymore. When I did, I overheard his entire plan. I need to tell you about it. Hmm. <laughs> I saw what he did to poor Sheriff John. I just had to tell you. It was all a plot to get his hands on that map to Glitter Gulch. John needs to know this. Those three guys, they're the mustache mob without their mustaches? Huh? If I could expose this whole plan, I could capture them too. The only trouble is, we don't know where Glitter Gulch is. I do. Rufus, how could you know where it is? On a kind of, I'm the guy what found it 57 years ago. Rufus, this is very important. Can you lead us to Glitter Gulch? Why, sure, but I won't go in. The place is just lousy with lizards. And I just hate lizards. Huh? <laughs> I'll get my gear and we'll go. <laughs> Normal, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be over there directing. When John was singing about how he wanted to be a cowboy, I got to thinking about how I always wanted to be a movie star. So? Can you ride a horse? No, but we're not going to ride horses. We'll go to Glitter Gulch in luxury. Normal, there were no stretch limousines in the Old West. So, there were no zombies, ninjas, or talking cats either. Well, you got a point there. Out on the desert, Doc Whipple was busy reading directions he found on the map. It says here we look for a lake and make a U-turn. While in the limo, a meal was catered. Our heroes traveled in luxury's lap. Box lunches were a nice touch, Nermo. Hey, don't take me. The studio's paying for all this. A half a mile ahead, turn left at the Big Rock. <laughs> and remember, when we get there, I'm waiting outside in the car. There's too many lizards huh? in there. I don't think Doc Whipple's going to let a few lizards keep him from billions of dollars worth of gold. Soon, Dr. Whipple was near to the finish. Soon they had arrived where the map said to go. Was there a valley of gold past the mountains? That was the thing they all wanted to know. 
Let's see. The map says to squeeze through that opening. <laughs> I can just get through here. Said. Cold everywhere, and it's all mine! Well, maybe not. not. Oh. They won't let you keep that gold in prison. No one's going to arrest us. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, he's the sheriff now. And we're his deputies. Once the mayor finds out they're the mustache mob, and they've been doing all those robberies, and that they work for you, the mayor will find someone to arrest you. <laughs> badges or no badges? We don't need no stinking badges. We're taking you in. No, you're not. Men? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Are those things loaded? Looks that way. We should have figured they'd be packing custard. You're not coming between me and all this gold. <laughs> What's that? I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaurs! Oh, so that's what he meant by lizards. This is awesome! This is just what my Western movie needed. Dinosaurs! Why did I think of... <laughs> huh? <laughs> I may regret this, but... <laughs> There's gonna be dinosaurs in your movie? Well, I. I, I thought yeah. you wrote this movie. I paid someone else to write it for me. A guy who writes cheap science fiction movies. Ah! I gave him $300. Forget about the gold, Wibble. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Forget about the gold? Never! Ha! The nuggets. See? That's why I don't like lizards. That's the last time I paid three hundred dollars for a screenplay. After that, we give up. Yeah, we'd like to surrender, Sheriff. I'm not the sheriff. Oh, you will be, again. Hey. And I think we'll be back in the deputy business. So the big lizards remained in their canyon. They just remained there and guarded the gold. None of the folks there would speak of what happened. There are some stories that shouldn't be told. Old Dr. Whipple and his three assistants would have to serve out a decade or two. John got his job back and got to be sheriff. Maybe his dreams would now finally come true. Nice singing there, partner. Thank you very much. Well, we'll see you on the CD of the soundtrack. Well, looks like you two got to be friends. Why shouldn't we be? We have something in common. 
We both admire you very much. And we agree you two will make a wonderful couple. <laughs> so, what do you think, boss? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Straight to DVD. Oh, well. A little kill overseas. What? What's he saying? He thinks it still needs a bigger finish. Bigger than dinosaurs? Yeah, well, whatever you say, boss. You know, the one thing left that would make me happy, Garfield, would be for you to eat healthier. Will you do that for me? Yes. From now on, I will subsist on small portions of tofu and trail mix. Remember, this is a movie. I didn't promise that in real life. Which reminds me, is this movie about over? Not yet. The studio thinks it needs a bigger finish. Grab my zombie, please. Great. And my ninjas, ninjas, you're on. And sloth people, sloth people to the set. And me, I want to be in it too. And don't forget to me. Let's have the dinosaurs take a bath. There are times when I really love show business. This is not one of those times. Everyone's happy, at least it would seem. John's back as sheriff, just like it is dream. Things will be peaceful here day after day. Now that Doc Whipple has been locked away. So as the secret of glitter grows gold, it may not ever be told. Looks like we have a happy for everyone except the bad guys. Cool. Wow. Arlene and Garfield are happy, I can tell. Especially if she can make lasagna real well. Let, Let us all celebrate, celebrate the Western's type romance. romance. This would be a good time to do our cowboy dance. dance.